Hey, how's it going everyone? Mad Dog here with another PSO2 video. So, in the middle of the road to episode 6 little campaign, I'm just going to tell you just a few things that you should do to prepare for episode 6 and what you should be saving up and stocking up and all that. So, this is going to be, this is going to need the current um, Thanksgiving event, which today is Thanksgiving. So, hope you all are staying safe, staying well, taking care of each other, and everything like that. So, if you're watching this video in the future, this may not really apply anymore. But, if you're current, you'll be just fine. So, there's a few things you need to take advantage of. First, although I don't have any at the moment, because I believe I, I completed mines for the day. Yes, so I have completed these. So, um, pretty much all these... I think they go back, as you can see, replayable to 27, so you just make sure you do these for those badges. As you're probably not going to use those Turkey Day badges, as I just didn't, because I don't want anything from the event. All the stuff is just ridiculous. The only thing I'm doing the event for is literally just the badges. So let me, let me show you, so they got my pose. So, down here at Sia, literally everything is just garbage. I mean... The roasted turkey is okay, I guess, but literally everything else just doesn't hold my interest except for the badges. So if you have a lot of these Thanksgiving badges, make sure just to get as much rising weapon badge for us as you can because you're, you're going to need them. So, so for right now, um, unless you need the weapons to do other trades at Z for certain weapons, I would just save them up, to be honest with you. That is the wrong vendor. So, this vendor here, it will be updated once episode 6 comes out, but again, just just save those badges, unless you really need something here, like if you're leveling up a class and you just want to use a quick weapon. I mean, grab one of these weapons and you'll be fine, I guess. But, save a bunch of those badges, you really don't need this stuff, as if you've already hit 90, or if you're leveling up you during the limited quest, or the urgent quests, etc, etc, then I guess that's fine. But I'm going to actually switch over to my JP account just to show you what you'll be getting with these badges when they get upgraded come this December. So just hold on tight. All right, now back on JP server. But before I get into that, there is a new ultimate quest that I need to talk about. This literally just updated maybe a few days ago that I will discuss so a little bit extra to add to this video unexpectedly but hey what can you do so anyway when the badges do update um, they're gonna be different from when they are here as you can see they're all the way back here and you know it's all the way up there but we don't have net cafe out in NA so that's unfortunate but anyway um, you come to badges I'm sorry seven badges in the shop so these are all the novel weapons that will be updated into the shop, which will be um, transformative into the Liberate set weapons. And you'll need things like the Liberate Unlocker, plus all the other stuff. I made a video on how to get the novel weapons unlocked and stuff like that, so be sure to take a look for that video. But anyway, as you can see, each of the weapons need 200 badges. And then, of course, you have the units down here which need 300 each, which are actually not bad units, especially if you want to throw some of your favorite augments on them. It's just a little unfortunate that the um, augments and boosts and stuff goes away the day the servers go down for maintenance to episode six. So it would've been nice to throw some augments on here since they're 13 star units. So very sure these are gonna be in the update as well, as will all the novel weapons. Um, by themselves, even without augments, they're pretty good weapons. As you can see, they give you level 4 of whatever attacking stat that's main. For example, Katana and Sword are going to be power 4 and everything like that. So, they're not base weapons. I mean, not base. They're not bad weapons. Just to get off the ground, you know. You can use these. You can plus 35 them. And then you can use them for a while until you get a Liberate Unlocker. Or you can go for any other type of weapons and stuff like that. So, that's why you want to be... Um, stockpiling your badges get as many as you can because of course once you hit level 30 you're gonna need another weapon to bust that limit cap to plus 35 and then use a liberate unlocker and then get your liberate weapon although they call them something else in NA which is ridiculous 
I still don't like Trailblazer. They should have kept my stream, but it's whatever. So yeah, that's why you should be stockpiling your weapons. So take advantage of this event going on right now until December 22nd. Uh, I think the Turkey Day event ends on the 9th. So make sure you're taking advantage of getting those Turkey Day badges and then converting them into Rising Weapon Badge 4s and then saving them, unless you really need them. Now, before I wrap up this video, let's talk about the new Ultimate Quest that just came out. I think it was a couple days ago. I just booted my game, had a couple of files to download, but they were rather large. So let's get into this. So it's this is not gonna be on the December 22nd update. So don't don't go expecting it. I just saw it was like, whoa. So yeah, level 101 enemy and it's the primordial darkness and you have to fight them alone. So yeah, this is kind of like story mode but like turned up to like the 3000 degrees of like difficulty is you have to be level 95. It says level 90, be 95 because this thing is level 101. So yeah, I don't know when this is going to come out. Probably going to come out after episode six is done because this is right now massive spoiler. So I won't even start the mission up. I won't even show you guys it. I would like to, but this is the this is the final boss. This is it right here. And it's a difficult fight. And I think if you die, yeah, if you die, that's it. So you gotta have pretty much a flawless kind of battle. And I know that sucks, but man. Yeah. So as you can see, you get the dark banished weapons, or which are the current strongest weapons in the game. So if they're not guaranteed to drop and for the headache of the battle, I wouldn't really do this to try to get these weapons. I would do this run if, you know, once the emergency quest comes out and then doing it, but doing this by yourself, unless you've got balls of steel and you're really pro at this game, then you can probably take it out very fast. But since it's by yourself and you're not with anybody else, it's going to have lower HP, but it's still going to be an absurd battle. So that's it for this video guys and I just noticed that JP finally went into Thanksgiving lobby they were literally still on Halloween a couple days ago which is weird but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and I'll catch you in the next one peace okay so I'm just gonna throw a quick spoiler warning right here in case you want to see what this boss is like um, I'm gonna do a little bit of it I just can't help myself so super massive hyper mega super duper spoiler warning ahead um just first off i'm gonna die i already know it so it says here each time you clear the final battle by reaching the maximum depth a new depth becomes available and more powerful it kind of reminds you of um omega masquerade and then the rewards go up for maximum depth you can only beat it twice a day um because he's so powerful blah 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 which it's very valid and then actually in this quest if you die you can get up once or twice depending on if you have a half doll or escape doll but if you go to camp ship you're done so keep that in mind so let's um yeah let me give this a whirl like i said i'm not looking to clear it so don't be in the comments saying you failed you failed yeah i'm i'm expecting to die so yeah, I'm just going to show the battle because I know a lot of people are kind of wondering how this battle is. And it's a it's a very difficult battle, but you're doing it by yourself. So I want to explain. I won't explain why those three are here. I'm just going to go get the boss. Okay, so this is not the full version of it, because this is not the first form.
Okay, and that's my first death. And I do have a half doll, so let me try one more time. Yeah, I forgot how to do this fight. <laughs> I haven't done this in a but I know you have to sit behind the eyes or else he won't kill you from that attack. But yeah, as you can see, it wasn't really trying my best. I wasn't going to kill anyway. I just knew I wasn't really playing that well. So again, that's the boss, but that's not how that fight goes. It's a totally different form. I think that's like his third or fourth phase. There's a lot of phases to that fight, but I think that was the, I think that was the second phase. I'm not sure. The first phase has, you know, like a bunch of pillars. Okay, let me shut it right there. I'm, I'm spoiling everything, but hope you guys enjoy this little end teaser in case you guys want to watch it. Till next time, guys. Peace.